Oh my god. <laughs> Number two, why you eat all the meat? You eating up all Tiny's breakfast? Anyway, alright, so... <laughs> It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, playing a little Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. Who's that over there, man? Who's following us? VT Gamers following us out. But yeah, so um, yeah, got on today. Was doing some stuff and things. Went out on Mouth Hole. Got like three, four, five hundred me. Oh, he's got a Circo handbag. <laughs> We need to get a gator, man. Slip gator? Come on! I mean, there's no O in slip gator, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, you know, these guys on the server have been so nice to us, man. They've been just so amazing. They've given us so many things. Built the saddles, helped, you know, did the majority of the building on, like, everything. I mean, they've just been so helpful. So, um, I was asking them today, you know, I had a bunch of hide, and I said, you know, I wonder if you guys need any. They're like, nah, you, we really don't need that. So what we need is metal. They said we need a lot of metal. I was like, you know what? I haven't done like a big excursion now to get like a bunch of stuff and things. I haven't really done that yet. Um, it's and and another reason. So I decided to do that. That's what we're gonna do today. Um, but one of the reasons I want to do it, I just kind of want to say thank you to those guys for helping us out. By you know what I mean? They've done a lot of this kind of menial labor stuff. They've done a lot of this sort of gathering. Um, and we just haven't done any of that yet. So VT, let me borrow Tree Hugger, and let me borrow Bam Bam. Now, actually, we, I don't think we really talked about these guys very much at all. So this is this is Bam Bam, and uh, let's go ahead and access his inventory here. So he is a male, what is it, Ankylosaur? What is it even called? I can't remember now. Gresham set to neutral a little Bam Bam. I think they're Ankylosaurs. I can't even remember the name of these guys. Is it on here? I always wonder. I don't think it shows you what they're even what they are. Yeah, but anyway, so he's got a thousand health, couple hundred stamina. Um, he's got 3,000 food. He's got a lot. And his carry weight's up to 430. He's got a great amount of, of running stamina. No, no. Let's go, Bam Bam. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Like this. Look how cute he is, man. You can see his little buckleka. He doesn't have to poop or anything yet. So we can't, we can't watch him poop. But, yeah. So we're going to head up the mountain that's right up there. And, uh, do a little bit of mining. See how this guy works? Because he can harvest rocks. I can't, I've never done it before. So I'm interested to see how it all works. Um, and I brought some of the boys with me just to make sure... We have some, oh, 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 oh man, he's like a little caterpillar climber guy. So I brought out Kevin, Jessica, and Brandon, and we brought Tree Hugger too, um, as our mule to carry all the metal back with us. So yeah, uh, obviously I'm gonna do it off camera. I'll show you guys a little bit about how it all works out, but that's what we're gonna do to start off the day. I'm gonna go get some metal, and I will be our bees, peeps. And we're back. And there's some cool stuff up here I didn't really know about. Um, so it looks like that, like these rocks right here with the gold flex, they're like the high yield metal. So you get a lot more metal out of them. There you can see you got 16 out of that guy. And then I've never seen these before. I didn't know what they were. These rocks right here are obsidian. Um, and that's really cool. I love the look at them, of look, look of those. I think they're really cool looking. We're gonna get a little metal out of these guys too. Oh, we didn't get any obsidian that time, but you should be able to get some obsidian as well. Let me see if we can do it on this. And uh, I was asking the guys, Teal Lone Wolf actually gave me a little bit of a pro tip here. Um, so if you're on the Anklo, and whoa, 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 where are you going, Jessica? She's so crazy. So if you're on the Anklo and you look on the right side, um, we're going to do the attack. See how it does the tail swipe? So we're doing the tail swipe, right? Oh, we got to eat a little bit here. So, um, if you are looking on, if you're on the guy, right, like this, and you look to the right, he's going to do the tail swipe. If you look to the left, he's going to do the head thing. And the animation's way, way faster for that. So, much easier to kind of harvest stuff if you're kind of looking towards the left side. It's kind of a pro tip thing. I didn't know that there was a thing. And I guess it was that way. It's that way with, like, um, a couple of the other guys, too, like the mammoths. Oh, we're overburdened now. We're going to have to move some stuff onto Tree Hugger. How much stuff have we got so far? Been up here for, I don't know, a little bit. Let's take a look. So we got, there's 100 metal right there. Almost 200 metal. Can I even carry 200 metal and move? No. <laughs> All right, so let's put 100 back. Now. Oh, we're going to get there. Here we go. Oh, my God, we're going to go into Tree Hugger, and then we're going to put 100 metal on. This is going to be the best thing that ever happened. Can we get him? Yes. Oh, we did it. Oh, man. We can't be stopped, peeps. We just cannot be stopped. So we got 100 metal, 200 metal already. 
What is that? 340 flint, almost, well, 173 stone. Um, and we got 10 obsidian as well. So we're doing really good. Doing good just for a little outing here. All right, so there's your update, peeps. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do some harvesting. And then I will BRBs. And we're back. I'm just clearing up the last of these high yield metal stuff and things rocks. Um, there's this one more, I do believe, right over here. And I'm kind of at my, oh, there's a couple more. I'm pretty much at my weight limit. I've got about 900 weight on Tree Hugger right now. And then on Bam Bam, the ankle we have right here, he is, after this, probably going to be pretty full. There's another, oh, would we get that guy over there? Let's go ahead and check him out really quick. There's probably some wood on him we can drop. Yeah, there's 10 wood right there. Narco berries, we can drop those. Stems, we can drop those. Just dropping a little bit of weight. But, yeah, we are pretty much at capacity, so to speak. I'm not sure if I can get down this way. Honestly, we might have to head kind of in the this early direction. But any hoozle, we got a huge amount of stuff and things. I'm going to count it up once we get back to the home base. That's where we're going to go now. Now, BRBs, peeps. And we're back, finally. This took quite a while, actually, to get these guys to come all the way back here. It's a long and arduous journey. It's actually just more that everybody's heavy. Everybody's got all sorts of stuff on them, even these guys now. So we got some metal here. Oh, wait, can I even carry 100 of metal? Oh, I can't even carry 100 metal. Ugh! I'm too fat for 100 metal. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, now I can't even get... <laughs> all right, hold on. Drop item. Let's go like that. Then we'll come over here. Can we pick it up yet? Oh, man, what a pain in the butt. Pick it up. Now access this guy. <laughs> we'll stick the half of this on there. Now can we move? All right, now we can at least move. So we got, um, what was on here? A hundred and something, right? A uh, hundred and sixteen on uh, the ankle there. And then we've got on tree hugger. One, two, three, hundred seventy... And then 46 obsidian, one, two, three, four hundred, yeah, ish stone. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about a thousand. Oh, there's even more metal down there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got like six, seven hundred metal, man. We got a lot. That was a really good little trip there. Let's check out what's going on over here. It looks like somebody's already got some metal going on in the forge. Oh, man, there's already a whole batch in there. We'll stick some more of this inside of here. And then maybe just grab some more wood. What do we got? There's obsidian inside of there. But yeah, all right, cool. So it was a good trip. Feels good to help out the community a little bit. I'm going to get these the stuff and things in here organized. And then uh, I think you know what we'll do next? Give me my map. So see how the whole center of the island, we haven't been there yet? I know there's a volcano over there somewhere. I feel like we should go check that out. I think that'd be a cool adventure to go on today. And we're back! I'm gonna start crafting up some narco arrows. Take a look at these guys right here. And, alright, we're good to go with that. I think we're gonna be on a walk, kinda, sort of. I went ahead and got some meat cooking up as well. Cause we're gonna go on a little bit of a traveling adventure. Just got done doing a little bit of a streaming of the arc. And we were just kinda doing some stuff that was like, stuff I wanted to do off camera anyway. And so, let's grab this meat. We'll go ahead and put that guy out. Uh, uh, grab this meat and go ahead and put this guy out. All right, there we go. We got 35, 45 meat going on. But yeah, so what I did is I wanted to go ahead and start exploring more of the island. And you can see here, pretty much, except for a couple of spots, we've been just about everywhere. All the way down in the southern area there. And then all the way into the inland, like the center of the area there. And so I wanted to take you guys to show you a couple of places. Because I like exploring with you guys. I think some of you haven't seen this stuff. Where's... Wait, let's take a look at Air Force One stats. Air Force One Eight. So Air Force One Eight, our new bird. Stamina 1,000. Okay, I like it. Now where is number two? There's number two. Let's go look at number two stamina. Let's take a look at the how, how they stack up. He's got a thousand too. His movement speed's 139. This guy's movement speed. Let's see here. No, not Rod. It's only 100%. So, probably way faster to take number two. So, we're going to go ahead and get on him and then head over. The couple of things that I wanted to show you guys to the air. Tiny is in the air now. Tiny riding on the air. Um, so, <laughs> so uh, the two things that I want to show you, I'll show you on the map here. 
We're right in the center-ish. You'll see there's a mountain. It's actually like an inactive volcano. Then on the map, on the all the way on the lower right, we gotta go. Oh, that that's there's a volcano right there. All right, in the lower right hand corner, there's a little teeny. Oh, we losing. We're losing. Oh, did you see the glitch? What is that glitch? Where are my gloves? Hello, me. Hey, how are you guys doing? Uh, so it looks like a little bit of a visual glitch in the new update. So, um, yeah, there was, let me put this away, that little island and the volcano. Those are the two things that we're going to go explore today. I just kind of want to show you those things, too, because uh, I thought they were really cool finds, and I think you guys would be like, uh, you guys would like to see them. So, all right, we're going to head over there, and then I'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back. We're coming up to the top of the volcano here. I'm going to fly up a little bit higher so I can kind of come down on it and show you what it looks like. Whoa, whoa, all the lags. So here's what it kind of looks like from the top. Pretty cool. There's our base all the way back in, on that area there. And then I was in here today a little bit. There was no sort of... Oh, we're going to get the weird music. There was no sort of... um Dinosaurs or anything like that. I'm just taking a look around. But there was this stuff up here. There's crystals, man. Which I didn't know. I thought these were like only in the caves or underwater. So you can come up here and get some crystals, which is kind of rad. Now these guys right here, this is super high concentrated metal, uh, metal stone or what metal rock. So only certain rocks you can get the metals from. Um, and then as they, you know what? I think my, no, my cam is good. I'll turn it down a little bit because of the reflections there. But yeah, only certain rocks give up metal. And then you may not have actually ever seen any of the high density ones. Oh wait, I showed you the high density ones earlier in this video. What am I talking about? Um, but these guys are like super high density. I mean, they don't have just like veins of metal in them. They're like made of metal completely. Now how you would be able to get the metal down, it would be really difficult. It would be really tough to get it down. Um, probably would have to make some sort of bird or something like that, specifically like a mule for that. Um, now, I heard there was a new bird coming, but I was checking the patch notes, and I think there's the island we're going to go to right there, so we're just going to head in this early direction. But they were talking about in the patch notes, they're going to add a plesiosaur and the shastasaurus. Now, the shastasaurus, I do believe, they're both the plesiosaurus and the shastasaurus. I, I think there's going to be a thankiosaurus. Get it? Plesiosaurus, thankiosaurus. <laughs> Tiny makes funny joke. All right, anyway, Plesiosaurus and Shastasaurus, they're both water dinosaurs. I do believe the Shastasaurus is like a big one. I would say it would kind of remind you of like a 60 foot long, I don't know, like a 60 foot, I don't know. They're not like built for war or anything. I think that the Shastasaurus is going to be more like a, uh, a like a, a mule. Um, I don't think it's going to be anything like, I don't know, maybe it'll be like aggressive. The Plesiosaurus is much smaller. I would say maybe like a jet ski. No, I think they're probably like a 10 foot long and the Shastasaurus something like a 60 foot long dinosaur. So, um, but both water guys. I heard, like I said, there was a bird and then I saw somewhere else like a giant ape, ape thing. Six were on me, you big pig. My God. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm trying to be serious. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> Number two, why you eat all the meat? You eating up all Tiny's breakfast? Anyway, all right, so, <laughs> sorry, couldn't keep a straight face while doing the tiny boys. All right, there's the island we're heading to. I want to show it to you. I'm really, this island's really cool. You guys got to check it out. All right, I'll be right back. And we're back. Look at the megalodons, man. They look like little trout. Look like trout. That's what we call them back home. Le trout. Le trout. Mm-hmm, good for eats. Um, yeah, but let's get up a little bit higher again. Once you get to a certain point, when you get up high, you don't get that water reflection, so it kind of makes everything look really great. Check this out. This is like Megalodon heaven, man. This is the second time I've been here, and there's just a ton of Megalodons that spawn in this area. And I don't know if there's a way you could stop them from spawning in there, and then like maybe close it off and make this like your place where you keep your Megalodons, or you could just tame them all, and then they would just continually eat and get food and stuff and things like that. But check this island out, man. Now normally, I think you can kind of, I don't know if there's random spawns, like as far as, um, I don't know if, the dinos spawn randomly in random places. I think that it's not the case. I think that it's kind of like almost like biome specific. So like, you know, sabers spawn in certain areas. Um, you know, brontos spawn in certain areas. Uh, scorpions spawn in certain areas. This looks like on this island there are no carnos. Like no carnivorous mo uh, mobs of any kind. 
Um, which is kind of crazy to me. Like, I haven't seen one raptor even on this island. So it's like a safe haven, man. I don't know if there's anything. I don't see any caves on it. I, I don't have the cave map up, so I'm not really 100% sure if we've got any caves. I'm just trying to... Let me fly up a little bit higher so make it a little easier for you guys to see. Like so. We'll zoom out here. But it's got that little, like, inlet area thing. As far as, like, that little, you know, see what I'm saying right there? You could build, like, a house thing there. Oh, wait, we're going, no, we can't be going down. There we go. And then we've got our little megalodon area. It's just such a cool little spot. I love this island. Now, as far as a couple of people when I was streaming, I was showing the island off. They're like, move out here and start building a base. It would be really hard to build a base here. Just because... You'd have to only use wood, or you'd have to fly out your metal. I feel like we're just not ready to, like, kind of do that. But in the future, definitely. Plus, right now, I kind of want to spend some of my time doing the outpost um, on the other cave island. Uh, me and Z talked about doing that um, on this guy right here. Well, you know what it is. On the northeasternmost point of the map. The upper right? Right? On oh, the upper right, where that uh that guy is. We were talking about building an outpost there for that cave that Z died in. Um, and I think that's something that we're gonna work on. So um yeah, we gotta get like a dino out there and start gathering up some wood and just kind of do some stuff and things like that. So I might take a trip out there today and actually do a little bit of scouting. I don't have my own spiny or anything else like that to get out there. Um I could ask one of the other guys if I could borrow one. Um, and then maybe head out and try to start gathering up some stuff and things. Maybe build a little bit, which we haven't really done yet. We haven't really done almost any building. So I think that would be a cool thing to do. Let's try it. First things first, I was over here earlier today and I was fighting some Brontos and we had a bit of a problem. The Brontos kind of destroyed some things that were out here. They destroyed the bridge that Lone had worked so hard to create. Now, it is just a thatch bridge. Thatch bridge? That's a hard one. So it's just a thatch bridge. So it shouldn't be that tough to start taking, to start making stuff and things happen over here. But yeah, so what do we want to use? Uh, yeah, obviously this guy uh, for thatch on trees. I'm gonna go ahead and start harvesting up a bunch of it. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and repair the bridge. We're gonna do, you know what I mean? You gotta be responsible when you're playing on server peeps, peeps. And we're back. Someone just pooped and we're just about to finish up. Oh yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. We're a bridge builder. That's right. We made this bridge. This one's made out of dirty thatch. I don't know why some of these are brown. They're like dirtier than the other ones are wet. I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but we fixed the bridge. We did it. It was quite easy, actually. It didn't take that long. We had to clear a bunch of some trees up inside of that area there, but it wasn't that bad at all. So now, like I said, I've been talking about this. I'm a little afraid. I'm a little afraid to go out to the island and start trying to build an outpost and do that stuff. Um, I'm a little bit scared, then we're gonna get killed, and, um, I gotta find the right dino to bring out there, too. Um, I, like I said, I don't have a spiny, but I might ask VT or one of those other guys if I can, uh, borrow one of theirs, um, and, uh, bring him out there, just so that we have... What are you doing, Jessica? How come you're so slow? Let's test this out real quick, let's check this out. What's your stamina at? 165. What's your stamina at, slow? Maybe your stamina's just low, lady, and I didn't even, ever know it. 165. Movement speed 120. I think his movement speed's faster. I can't see him. All right, there we go. Moves me 129. All right, fine. You're not quite as fast. Let's fix it. 123. A couple more levels. You'll be right up there. All right, heading over to the main island. Finally, we're going to do it. And on I'll be our bees, peeps. Tiny on Air Force 1 8. And we're back! We're flying out to the island on the Argentavis. Doing some stuff and things on our bird. I figured we could just bring the bird out. I figured, why wouldn't we? This guy's actually pretty BA. He should be pretty... Oh, maybe not against two raptors and... I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if we can just take this raptor out. Let's just come in slow. Come in slow. We have to do a lap. We killed it. We're getting a little bit hurt. We're getting a little bit hurt. Oh, we're gonna do a lap. Oh, we're down to like half. We killed one saber tooth. Ooh. What are you gonna eat your brother? You sick, sick man. 
He's just gonna eat his brother, man. So there's a lot of baddies on the island here, and we took the Argentavis down to half health. So, shall we come over here, try to go slowly, and then can we eat these guys? Alright, it doesn't look like he'll do the eating thing. Um, let's go ahead and harvest the meat off of him. And the hide. I don't know how dangerous it's gonna be. In order for us to, like, actually try to build this outpost thing. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh my god, the wandering man! I can't stand it! They've gotta fix that! So, um, also... The guys wander around. It's so, so scary. Um, we can go ahead and remote use item. Some meat. And you see he gains... A bunch of HPs. Like so. And we can bring him up a little bit faster that way. So, I'm going to try now. Well, let's go ahead and head over. Let's head up to where the cave is. It's over on this far side here. Now, building the outpost on this thing might be pretty tough considering... Wow, is that so bright? I have my gamma way down, too. Um, considering there's so many hostile mobs in the area. I think it's over in a this early direction. I know on that island it's like Carno City. Alright, right here is where we want to be. And I don't think, or I thought there was a bed out here. Am I wrong? Land, homie. So here is the cave. And you can see here, we might be able to just build into this cave. Because there's nothing in here as far as mobs until you get to the other part, right? Until you get into, like, the bad, the bad part. So maybe if we just... Oh, uh, maybe we could build, like, start right here and just build a wall, like, across... So here? It could be a thing, I guess. We got some really crazy tree action going on over here. Alright, I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm just gonna get to it. I'm going to probably start off by getting a bed going, which I think I never even learned that engram. <laughs> Let's see. Do I even have the engram for the bed? I got the sleeping bag. Don't I? Oh, no, I don't. We'll get a sleeping bag, Engram. Isn't there, like, a bed bed? I thought there was one somewhere. I don't see it. I'm probably just missing it. Um, but, yeah, all right. So, we're just going to start gathering up some materials. Are you a tree? Smallest tree ever. And uh, start getting some building done. I'll be our beast, peeps. And we're back, and um, I'm talking to VT a little bit about building stuff, and VT's the guy that's running the server. He, I've talked about him before, but just so you guys know, um, if you're new. So yeah, talk to him a little bit about um, all the stuff and things about building and how like um, the spawns or the uh, drops work. And we don't want to really build too much out here because it could stop some of the drops on this island, which we really want to have since they're so close to our base. So, but we did want to do something over here, because I think Z and I are going to work on this a little bit more. So I did pick a thatch foundation, and I put a bed in this area. And then just down over in here, I put a couple of chests, and just a cut, and then, then a torch. That's it. Just a little bit of stuff and things, so that we can get inside of here when we go down in, and bring over... Whoa, whoa, how come I can't get you the crystals? So when we come down through here, and we go to the other side... Oh, we're gonna go without. We're gonna go solo, man. We're gonna solo this bad boy. Oh, that drop's not here. I hope that you guys can see this. It is so. This stuff is so bright. It's crazy. Let me go ahead and get a torch out. So when we come in here, you're gonna see all the lags now. There it is, man. Mad lag action. Oh, I'm freezing cold. I forgot about that. It's super cold in here. But down there, this is really probably super hard to see. Oh, where is it? Oh, there was. There it is. Right there. See right there? There is a spinning crate, which I think is one of the items that you need in order to spawn the broodmother. Which I can't even imagine trying to go down there and get. But what our plan is, is to, instead of, like, trying to hike down there, it's, we're going to try to build our way down. 
And we're not going to try to like parachute down either. We're just going to try to like build um, some ladders because you can build downward facing ladders. So it should be a thing um, that we should be able to do. And that's kind of what our plan is um, to do it in that way. It is some dark and scary in here. Oh, that torch looks cool through the water. So yeah, um, also just to, something to, to keep in mind. I don't know if you noticed, I feel like I'm getting some really bad performance issues. And the funny thing is, is that they said that they've increased performance um, and made changes so that everything's better. Um, and since about two updates ago, things feel really clunky to me. They feel a lot clunkier and a lot stranger and weirder. So um, yeah, but anyway, we got a little bit of an outpost thing done. Not exactly what I wanted, but we're saving the the uh, supply drop thing. That's why we didn't do it. Oh man, the Argentavas over there are real. We don't want to get near those guys. And we did some exploring and we helped out the server a little bit. Got some metal this morning and it was a good day, peeps. I want to thank you guys so much for all your support on the ARC videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. May the stuff and things be with you. Call. Tiny flying on a chicken. <laughs> Tiny flying on a chicken. You look like a chicken. Argentavis must mean chicken in Latin. Time to speak Latin. Bo bis bit, bimus bitus bunt.